and it seems as if they all have their, ooh, as I hit my lamp, <laughs> like 613 box braids with all the, um, the stupid, I keep hitting this stupid lamp, the sweetheart up stupid lamp. Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of Coffee and a Kiki, RuPaul's Drag Race All-Star Season 2, Episode 5, Wig Recap, Review, whatever. As you can see, I am not in my apartment, I am not in my studio, I am in Vegas. Vegas, 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 Vegas. So I'm here on tour right now, I'm here for another week, and I'm here at the beautiful SLS Hotel. This room is amazing, this bed is a um, girl, sleeping like the dead. This bed's amazing. The shower's amazing. If you guys come to Vegas, stay at the SLS. It's great. It's beautiful, and it's kind of on the side out of the way, so you're not in the middle of everything, but it's close. It's right on the monorail. It's great. I love it. Anyway, so this is my coffee mug of the day. This is from uh, Perk. P-E-R-Q, which is a coffee shop that's actually in the hotel. Like I said, I've never been to Vegas before, so there's restaurants and coffee shops and casinos and shops and stores and all of this stuff in the hotels is crazy. There's also a Starbucks across the street, but it was too much for me to even put on pants and a shirt and shoes and go to the lobby to get this. So I was not gonna go across the street to Starbucks and back, no. I got two iced, two large iced coffees, each with an espresso shot and I got a cinnamon roll and it was $20. Two, zero. I bit into that cinnamon roll and I was like, oh, this is a $7 cinnamon roll, this is good. And then I drank the coffee and I was like, this is a $7 coffee, this is good. So, perk, I like them. Come to New York, please, I will support you. Thanks. All done. Number two. Ha <laughs> ha. So where we left off last week, Alyssa Edwards was eliminated and the girls all come back to the workroom and Fifi's sitting there talking about, you know, how she thought it was fitting for her to go home because of the critiques that she was getting and how she didn't feel that it, it was fair for, you know, Alyssa to be not having a look on par with everyone else, but then the judge is saying that it's okay because she's Alyssa Edwards. So then the lights come up and they reveal that the f eliminated queens are there behind the mirror and they're there to get their revenge. The eliminated queens all march back into the workroom and they're all in their two-in-one look. So first is Coco Montrese. Coco is in this black, gold, and silver pattern type dress. It, um, it almost kind of looks like a checkerboard slash giraffe type. It's not very square and angular. There are round edges on it. There's lots of embellishment here. All of her two-in-one was taking off a jacket. So I was kind of like, that's it? You took off a jacket? Okay. And then she has like a short little cropped uh, dark golden blonde wig with some height in the top. It's a really flattering look for her. I thought she looked good. So then Tatiana comes out and it's one of those like drapey blouses with a little mini skirt underneath and then that unclips and the whole top turns into a very long skirt and she's in like a bra top kind of thing. And she has a short cropped like mohawk um, pompadour type blonde rooted wig and I'm not a fan of this wig on her. To me, I'm very particular when a queen wears short hair. It either really works or it really doesn't. And to me, this doesn't work personally, but Ginger Minch. So then Ginger Minch comes out and I actually love the dress that she started with. I love the tie on it. I love the um, sequin silvery top with the black skirt underneath. But then when she pulls and it falls down, it's just kind of like, it almost looks as if she has a hula hoop in the bottom. It's this long, triangular dress, and it's not a very flattering look. I love her in this red wig with the side swoop, and it looks to be as if it's up in like a twist or something in the back. She has some height in the top. I like it. She looks good. And um, then Alyssa Edwards is in the same look from last week, so I already talked about that last week. RuPaul arrives in the workroom and announces that this week's Maxi Challenge will be a comedy show and that they will be working in teams of two with a current all-star and an eliminated all-star. So, the, so then RuPaul explains that the top two eliminated queens in this week's competition will do the lip sync battle and they will pick from the current all-stars who will go home. 
So that's where they're getting their revenge, and then they will get to come back to the competition. So then they pair up, and it's Alyssa and Alaska are a team, Katya and Ginger Minge are a team, Fifi O'Hara and Coco Montrese are a team, and Detox and Tatiana are a team. And then that leaves Roxy Andrews to host alone by herself. So then they're in the workroom and they're working, and they go out onto the stage and they're rehearsing, and just the way that the that was edited made it seem as if they all were kind of doing bad. Like, none of the jokes were really landing, and especially with that sound, you know what I'm talking about? Um, they're in the workroom and they're rehearsing and they're writing their scripts and everything, and Alyssa and Fifi get together and they start talking, and they seem to come to a mutual understanding, sort of a agree to disagree type situation, but like Coco Montree said, I don't believe it for a minute. That's like President Obama hugging Donald Trump. And I thought that was a really good analogy for the situation. And, you know, as Alyssa Edwards says, it's not personal, it's drag. So then we get into the runway. Really quick in this episode, the runway happens almost immediately. And uh, RuPaul comes out and she's in this wrap gown with long flowy sleeves and a V-cut. And the color on this gown is just gorgeous. It's um, kind of like a galaxy type color. It's pink and some teal and some purple and some navy it seems to be. I don't know if it's sequin or what kind of fabric it is, but it's beautiful and I love the color of it. And I also love this hair Rue's wearing this week. It's very natural looking, looks like a re like something a real girl would wear. I love the texture of this wig. It's beautiful. Um, I love the styling of it. It's the perfect amount of volume for her. I think that this wig is probably my favorite wig of this season thus far on Rue. Definitely my favorite. I just love the natural effortlessness of this wig. I love it. And also, Michelle Visage's hair looks good this week, girl. Did you see that? She has like a vintage retro kind of um, a deep side part with a big kind of swoop and it's kind of just rolled under. Very soft, very, very feminine, gorgeous. I loved her hair this week. All right, and then the challenge starts, and Roxy Andrews comes out as the host, and she starts in this really pretty floral type bodycon dress with a long sleeve and a high collar, and I love the colors on her. It's like a green, yellow, pink type of thing, and she has this beautiful wig on, and it's like a golden blonde. There's a little tiny mini root to it. The styling's really pretty. The only thing, the only, only, only thing about this wig that I don't like and I've noticed this in drag wigs, I've noticed this in real girl wigs, is the part. And it's like, I understand, like from afar in the shots, it looks really good and really realistic from far away. But then when you get up close, it just kind of looks like a mess. And I have a decent screen cap here. Um, you could just see the edge of the line. And basically all this part is, is the hair was plucked out of the lace. Um, it seems to be about a quarter to a half an inch of pluck and then you put concealer over it, and the theory is, is that it makes it look like a part, when in reality it kind of just looks like you have a bald spot and a hole in the front of your wig. I'm not a fan of this personally. People do it. There's a lot of things that people do that I'm not a fan of, right? Bitter Bobby. So then Coco Montrese and Fifi O'Hara come out, and they are doing um, a scene, almost. So Coco's doing the same RuPaul's ghetto cousin from the projects like she did on her season, and then Fifi is doing like a ghetto chola pregnant thing, but her accent is like really inconsistent and is going in and out, so the chola thing just didn't land for me at all. Fifi with the, the blonde box braids with all the clips. In it, I think that look is really funny. I think the, the dress is funny. The pregnancy belly could have been better, but it's drag, so it's not a big deal. What did Tadra call them? Shanene nails? Something like that? I love the really long, curved, I'm a cut you nails. I like those. Those are fun. And then Coco Montrese has that big, big, huge fake ass on, which always cracks me up in the way she's walking with, like, sticking her butt out. Killed me. Um, I love the red bob. I think that's a really flattering look and color on Coco. That like blunt, severe, almost Nicki Minaj um, type silhouette bob. And I love the dark like candy apple red on her. It's great. And she's in like a leopard print bodysuit with like a harness over it. Hot pink thigh high boots. Like just a mess of an outfit. And it works for the character. Okay, and then Roxy Andrews comes back out. And now all of a sudden she's Tasha Salad. So I've been referencing her looking like Tasha Salad with the face and everything 
basically every episode since the show started and then here she is actually as Tasha Salad and the the jokes weren't landing for me it wasn't that funny and like the 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 accent was inconsistent and all of that so it wasn't really a fan okay then Alyssa and Alaska come out and I love when Alaska goes glam I love it she looks stunning I love her in this long red gown the hair is very simple, but it's very, very pretty. I am I think this is a Wigs by Vanity, I think, because it looks to be like the shade of RuPaul color that they were carrying for a while. Looks to be that sort of color, and I love the style, I love the big bow. I think Alaska looks great. Her makeup is impeccable this week. She looks beautiful, and she did really, really great in the challenge. I liked her sort of side commentary, one-liner zingers the whole time, it was great. Alyssa Edwards. I thought Alyssa did amazing in this challenge. I love her red leather dress that she's wearing right now with all of the piping and the interest and there's like a chain going across the corset part of it and then there's a matching hat that's kind of like a little like zigzaggy texture. I really like that hat. I like the glasses. The glasses are funny to me. The only thing I'm not a fan of is this hair. It's square, but it's a triangle at the same time, and the one side is like out here, and the other side's not as far in. And then when you look at it from the back, the top of it is completely flat, and the back of it's almost a perfect square. And it's just, I don't think it's a flattering look. You know, the finger wave being the point, making it look like a triangle. And I feel that it either could be completely round, with the top just a little higher so it's more of a round bubble shape or if the top and the back had a little less volume and the more was focused on the ends it could be more of a bell triangle shape but I feel like right now it's kind of in between shapes and that's what's making it look weird to me okay now Katya I think Katya is in a vanity wig as well I've seen her wear this a lot and I love this texture that just kind of like natural I just braided my hair overnight and put some salt spray in it kind of texture I love it Again, I love the 1983, like, big puffy sleeve tight waist jacket that she's wearing. I love that, and it looks great on her. And her face looks great, the hair's great, the outfit's great. She was great. I love, I love when she does her Russian character. It always makes me laugh. And I think Katya did really great in the challenge. Ginger Minj, I love this gown. I love this, like, teal sequin gown she's wearing. It's very simple but it's very pretty and she has the sweetheart silhouette on the top with the, the straps coming back. I love Ginger in this blue color, it looks very beautiful. But the hair, the hair was just a little sloppy to me and I, I, it looks like the wig was cute at one time and it's sort of, this is like a better example of the silhouette that I was talking about with Alyssa. So do you see how, how Ginger's, the silhouette is there, the silhouette's flattering, but it's a little messy, but you can see how it's high on top and it's round and it comes around and then there's still that big swoop bang, but there isn't like a big indentation or anything. It's a round silhouette. That's what I'm talking about. That looks really good to me, minus the fuzzy and the folly apartness in the front. I like the silhouette and I think the silhouette on this wig looks good. It's just a little messy. And I thought Ginger did okay. I felt that... I wasn't sure if it was the edit, because Ginger's hilarious, and Ginger always makes me laugh. So I don't know if it was just the edit, you know, to make the people that actually were winning the challenges look better, if they just cut the funnier parts out of the other people, or what. I don't know. I wasn't there. I wasn't at the taping. I don't know what actually happened. Now, Detox and Tatiana, they come out and they're in matching um, reversed outfits. So Tatiana's is white with black, and Detox's is black with white. So I'm kind of wondering, where did these dresses come from? Did one of them just happen to bring two dresses that were opposite colors? Did, are they supposed to have a twin challenge later on or something? You know, they always have that makeover challenge where you have to make them look like part of your family. So they might have that this year. Um, so maybe that's what these dresses were for. It's just funny to me. And they had the same shoes, too. They both had a really high stiletto heel with a peep toe. Both of them weird. I love Detox's crazy old lady hair. So funny. That silhouette is hilarious. I love Detox in a fun color wig anyway, and this dark rooted gray is no exception. I love it. She looks great. I thought Detox was very, very funny. Like the judges said, her words were a little muddled. I did have a little bit of a hard time understanding what she was saying um, because of the accent she chose for her character, but for the most part, 
she was great and hilarious and everything landed. And then Tatiana, I love this look. I thought she looked beautiful. I love her in a blonde wig. I love the silhouette and the softness and the femininity, femininity of this wig. I think she looks beautiful. Her face looks beat. It's beautiful, but like it could have some more hair. I, you know me, I'm always more hair. Put two or three more wigs on the back of it. I'm happy. Give me that volume, girl. I just feel like it could be a little fuller. Not that it looked bad, she is very, very thin. So having not a crazy amount of hair on her head works for her, she can pull it off. But I felt like during the lip sync when she's moving around that she could have used some extra hair. Especially next to Alyssa and that big blonde crazy monster that I might have made, I'm not sure. The amount of hair there was definitely like, she had a, a, a really thick wig with two packs of hair in it and she just had a regular wig. So it's kind of like, Okay, I just, yeah, but I think overall she looked great. I just felt like she could have used some more hair, even though I loved the hair, I felt like there could be more of it. Thicker, fuller, luxurious her. And they get into the critiques, and then they announce the top and the bottom of the week. So the bottom two of the week were Fifi and Roxy, which means that Coco and Ginger are gone again. They're out of the competition once again. And the top two were Alyssa, and Tatiana. So then they go back in the workroom and they're talking and Fifi sitting there saying, I'm not gonna sit here and beg to come back. I was fierce, I nailed it, I knocked it out of the park, I was great, I deserve to be here. And then Roxy, you know, kind of cried a little bit and said she also deserved to be there and she wanted to be there. And from the time the episode started, I knew it was gonna be Fifi going home, much like last week I knew it was gonna be Alyssa going home. And then, in a twist of fate, RuPaul announces that both Tatiana and Alyssa are safe. They're both safe. They're both still in the game. And this, I literally covered my mouth because I was not expecting this. They each get to pick someone that goes home. So if one chose Fifi and one chose Roxy, they're both out. But they both chose Fifi. Duh. So she was out. I really am rooting for Fifi and I do definitely think she's talented and it's just she's getting so much flack on Facebook and Twitter and everything and people are just freaking nasty and it's a TV show people it's a TV show it's not that big of a deal it's not that big a deal it's a TV show it's edited like yes she really did say those things but you don't know what context they were set in. You don't know what other people said to provoke her. You don't know what other people have been saying since day one. The producers are only showing you what they want you to see. And none of us, except for the girls on that show, know what actually happened. So I, you know, everyone's going in on Fifi on Facebook and social media and like, I'm like, I don't care. It's a TV show. It's edited. I don't care. Everyone that I know that is known, that knows Fifi that has worked with her, says she's lovely. So that's what I'm going to take away from this, is that Fifi is lovely in real life. And you don't know what competition does to you. You're locked in a hotel room when you're not recording. Like, you're locked in there. They lock you in, they tape your door shut. That's, that, that's, that's what you do. Like, you're at the studio recording all day, and then when you're not there, you're locked in your hotel room. And as somebody that's in a hotel room right now, except for when I have to go to work at my theater, I mean, I have a rental car and I can go and do things. I went to the outlet mall yesterday, but still being in this hotel room yesterday, even I was waiting for someone to Skype me and I was getting cabin fever. And that was only like three or four hours that I was in here by myself, not three or four weeks. So, you know, if I, I always say that I would never go on drag race because I know how I am in stressful situations. I would go off, I would go crazy. I would be that bitch. That would be me. Is that really who I am every day in the world and my life? No, but in that type of situation, the stress that they put you through and the mind games that these producers play with you, I know that I would snap and that I would go crazy. But you know, it, I'm just saying that it's a TV show, you guys. Don't believe everything you see. On a reality show, you don't know what actually happened. And just like leave Fifi alone. Like, <laughs> just leave her alone, please. Like, it's just, there's more important things going on in this country and this world than Fifi O'Hara being a bitch on TV. And get your priorities in order, people, okay? 
Oh, and then my three special shout outs of this episode are Detox with her foot in her mouth. Literally with her foot in her mouth. Alyssa Edwards blazer. I need it, girl. I'm gonna text her once I get off this camera and ask her where she got it because I need it in my life right now. And last but not least, pork chop. Just stank, face, house down, boots, shoes, sandals, stilettos. Done. <laughs> so that's it. Thank you guys again for tuning in and watching this week's Coffee and a Kiki, RuPaul's Drag Race All-Stars Season 2, Episode 5, wig recap, review, whatever. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please be sure to give me a thumbs up. Also be sure to check out all my fun social media links down in the box, my Facebook, my Instagrams, my Twitter, which I never use, my email address, and my website are all down there in the box. Also be sure to check out bobbypins.com where I have a wide selection of synthetic lace front wigs, wefting, combs, clips, blocks, rollers, sands, etc. Everything you need to get your wig projects done right. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share, and I will see you guys very soon for another fun video. And remember, hashtag, it's called a wig.